everyone. I'm going to be mixing, mm, excuse me, I'm going to be mixing up about, uh, I think it's 10 colors of glow in the dark. Using up the, or using some of the, or I think it's the 10 colors of the Let's Resin Glow in the Dark powders. Um, the colored ones, not any of the invisible colored ones, the ones that stay white and then uh, show color at night just using these ones. I'm going to uh, do the color first, doing my alcohol trick, uh, putting a little bit of alcohol in and the powder into the cups. I'll set them aside. I'll pause the video, get my resin mixed up, and then I'll come back and um, show doing the resin for anybody that's new. If you're used to this, you'll fast forward like I know plenty of people do anyhow. So, but this is going to be for the people who aren't familiar with this part. But I am going to uh, show, you know, this part for those who are not familiar with this. This is going to be a full tutorial. I need to get a new trash bag right quick, so bear with me. Oh, where are my trash bags at? I'll lean over over here. And these are succulent molds, so I'm going to be doing a bit of, um, like I said, glow in the dark. Most of them are probably only going to get poured that are, um, at least aren't too tiny. They're going to be poured only roughly about most of the way through, about halfway through to about three quarters of the way through. And then I'm going to add just a bit of black to the back of them. I want them on the, you know, glow in the dark slash uh, goth style to go into some of my uh, molds that I've already made, like my skull ones and a couple others that I've uh, got and want some more that I will be making. And I use the, uh, like I said, this one's almost empty. It's down here. This is the 99% isopropyl alcohol. It's what I use to refill my bottles, spray bottle, mystic bottle, for popping bubbles and stuff. Hope everybody can see everything really well. Now this is just stain from alcohol inks all the way back. There's nothing on there. I can get a paper towel to dry them off with in between so I'm not mixing my colors. And these will probably evaporate out some, but once you get the mixture going, it should be pretty good and stable until I get to the part of mixing the, the resin. Just enough for the bottom down there. Because you don't want a lot of alcohol when it comes time to mix resin anyways. So. Actually, let me hold on a second and see how this does in this paper cup because I don't typically use paper cups. It seems to be trying to go through the paper cup or pull out the silicones. I may have 10 silicone cups. That might be a better option anyhow. Let me do that. I'll put you on pause and grab silicone. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can see, but it's starting to go through and between the alcohol and then by the time you add trying to mix the resin with so many cups I didn't want a chance of having a huge mess all over everywhere so I just opted to switch to my silicone better than having to go through so many cups anyhow I know they're easier to try and pinch to pour but some of these have some tips that you can still pinch in anyhow so 
I'll just continue with this. Hope I still have enough down in there and it should evaporate out pretty good once I get my mixture. Just trying to get for, you know, pretty decent just level scoop. Bang off any extra. And this was the purple. Yeah, definitely way too much alcohol in there. A lot less than that next time. Way, way, way too much alcohol in there. Definitely needs to evaporate out a lot less. But definitely helps to break it down so it'll mix into the resin easier. Okay. Use a paper towel, make sure there's no little colors left on here. And I'll use a lot less. smidge more than that. Just enough for the bottom. Got to cover the bottom. Okay, that just covers the bottom. Alright, let's not tip anything over. And I need to set these over out of the way so I don't go knocking them off because I am klutzy. I'm trying to get all of that off in there. Not like on my glove, thank you. And that one is the fuchsia colored. a lot less alcohol. Don't need a lot, just enough. And that'll help it uh, mix into the resin later. And I'm just hoping the other one will have enough evaporate out for it to mix in and not cause curing issues. I may have to sacrifice it and empty that pot out if it doesn't get enough evaporating it out and start over but it's 99% so it should ev evaporate out enough so we've got that one
Sorry about that, y'all. I had a phone call come in and I had to get these colors mixed because it is starting to warm up and thicken up. So I had to do what I had to do and I had an important phone call I had to take. So I don't know how much or what, where everything's going. It's just going to kind of sort of start with these big ones first so I can get them off to the side. I hope that was just something that was in and not leaking on the bottom. Let me set that off to the side a moment. You should be able to see these back here. Let me move the blue over out of the way. Yeah, I meant to have these, you know, shown. All I did is literally just poured the resin in and just mixed and mixed and mixed until it was thoroughly mixed in. I didn't do anything special. I'll have to do another one um, showing. I do apologize, but I had I had an important phone call I had to take, and it just happened happened to come in at the wrong time. I apologize for that. This over here because I might need that again in a minute. Let's see. Uh, yeah, so we got some spots off to the side, and I don't know how much this is going to take. Need to get above the hole there because you're still back in bubbles. Still bubbles, come on. Get above. Yeah, I might not have enough for the other one. But that's all I'm doing for that, because like I said, I'm going to probably have to mix up some more black. Or mix up some more resin, I mean. Because this is all I have of this color. Stay in the pot. Okay, I thought I heard something, but I guess not. Clean these out later. I gotta find somewhere to set these. Go down into the bag, thank you. Come on, I don't want bubbles in my cactus. 
focus, please. Okay, let's see. Probably nowhere near enough colors in this one. What am I doing? What am I doing? Not on my mat, please. I don't need my arm getting into that. This one might not have any black to it, just some green and orange. If I can not tip things over. Just a smidgen, Let's see if it'll even hold right to the center. for this one. That is too short.
Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Just contemplating a lot of things going on right now. <laughs> Lots of stuff going on right now. And just trying to, trying to work, not trying to be quiet, just lots of stuff kind of sort of going on. out of the way. Come here. Can't get you in just one little spot. You gotta go pouring everywhere.
put that one in the wrong. Now I'm going to have to come up with some other colors for that one, huh? Purple. Where's my purple? Let's see if I have enough purple. I mixed up enough purple. And remix it together again, too. I don't know why I just laid the stick on the table. I'll have to clean my table again. <laughs> Let's see, today's Thursday. Yeah, trash day. That's right. Trash went out. That's why my trash can was empty. How did this one end up over there? <laughs> I'm just going to have to mix up some more another day. Because it's getting too late to do more today. And I'll have to just mix in my black another day too. Because probably tomorrow. Since grandbaby is sick and won't be coming over. I just found out. won't be here this weekend, so. This one I need for green. Ish or blue. That blue would look good in here. Let's see if I can get what I can get out of this blue. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What part of not spill that did I not understand?
This one will be a good one to have the black on the bottom. Whatever I can't get out of the blue here, try and use up every little bit of resin I can get out. Don't like waste. Resin will shrink, so when this cures, I'll mix up a wee bit more tomorrow. Or even later tonight, we'll see how it goes in a couple hours. It's still early afternoon. Let go of my gloves. Okay, let's see, what colors have we got here? I want you can be... That one's spam. I don't have to answer that one. Come on, cut the string.
home full, please. Sorry, this one's probably going to be a long one. That's wind and not more rain. We've had enough rain. The ditches are full. <laughs> This one's going to be a dump for whatever I can get into them out of it. Because it is to the gummy stage. Not the eating kind either. Sticky resin. At least it's down to 73.8. It was at 76 something when I, before I remember to turn my air on. That's what happens when I don't turn my air on. My my resin gives really sticky fast. Look, I got a little more blue. See if I can get a little drop in here. I'll save that for the end. Let's see. You're a good one to use just to fill into this one.
things good in here. This one's probably going to turn out to be the ugliest one. <laughs> so many colors in it. Or pretty. Who knows? We'll see. You never know. I'll wait a little while for these things to get tacky and mix up probably just like one ounce or two of black resin. Top everything off with. I don't have anything. I'm hoping I didn't miss anything, any colors anywhere. I hope I got everything I used. Stop y'all and we'll be back when it's, cause I'm probably not gonna just, you know, pop on just for the little bit of black resin that I need to mix up. Actually, I'm probably only going to mix up one ounce because I don't think two ounces, I think two ounces would be way too much because it's literally a little bit of just like a handful of spots. So, we'll be back when it's time to unmold. See y'all soon. Hello, everyone. Time to unmold. So I had a little extra resin after mixing up the black, so I or I could tell I had a little extra, so I tried something new. I had looked up and couldn't find anybody having a chameleon paste before, make, taking, you know, chameleon powders and making their own paste out of, you know, excess resin, uh, or I should say the hardener, taking, you know, part B and taking some actual chameleon powders and making their own uh, chameleon paste, which is what I did a while back, but this is the first or second time I've actually used it. I can't remember if I did before on camera or not, but um, I tried it out. I got the this mold from Michael's. Now it's not backed in black, it's literally, you know, the full thing's just mixed. This is just part of leftover resin. 
I thought I had, you know, what looked like a bit more than I needed for the black, so I did leave some purposely clear, which I'm glad I did because that's what I used to, I took the, and this, the mica that I used was some, um, it was a three pack and they didn't have names or anything. It was just three different colors that came off of Timu of their chameleon powders that I've used them before and none of them really seem to do much of anything for a good actual color shift. So I've mixed all three of them together and uh, then put the, some some apart, some leftover part B from that I had because I had to toss the part A's because they had solidified. I think that was the part A that solidified. I'm sorry, it was part B that solidified. That's part A that I had left over. I had to double check on the bottle sitting behind me. So I got a couple extra. I did try because I had a little left of black over too. So I did do um, one. I actually did a little bit of both in. So we'll pop that one out next. So this is just a smaller version of just the chameleon powder poured directly in. Nothing else in there was not, nothing was brushed in. It's just the chameleon powder in there. Now this one, I don't know how well it's going to turn out, but I poured a little of the extra black that I had in behind it. a little interesting down the sides. Darkened it up some in comparison to the other one which is just the chameleon paste nothing else. This is chameleon paste backed with black. But they were both still liquidy at the same at the same time, so it kind of sort of you know sunk in there. Now these ones I uh, had black left over, so I took chameleon flake lime and chameleon flake fuchsia by Let's Resin. and brushed into the molds and then I poured the black in so I can make some more magnets because my granddaughter loves these A little bit of cleanup to do. Let them finish harden some, and then because it's still early, exceptionally early, should have like another eight hours to wait. But most of them are think thick enough. They're not bendy, but it's still you know some of the soft spots are too soft to devour, so they'll just take chunks out and damage it. So I'm just gonna wait on doing that part and peel some parts off but not wanting to give that that blue shot blue spot very very difficult to get the blue on there it's there it's just trying to get all the two greens and the blue on there. And that was just the spare leftovers. So, I think this one had like the most color in it. I think this is the one. It had kind of sort of chunked, chunked bits of all the colors.
and these all glow in the dark. I actually like it. Looks pretty cool. Definitely have to get after it with a deburring tool because it's got some sharp bits. Being as this one's thicker, it's probably good and hard enough to... And this stuff is uh, newer because it was part of the black batch. The ones that have the solid colors on the bottom like this one, this one um, is is older, so it was poured l later. This one's the newer stuff because it got topped off with the second batch of resin that was poured a couple hours afterwards. So it's the newer batch. So I can deburr that one later. And did you get a good enough view on this one? I put a little extra color in that one too. I did that one deliberately though. Wanted to try and get a two tone in there. Kind of almost reminds me of a little anemone from the ocean. Love to stick to this mat, boy. Woo! That one tried to go all the way to the floor. <laughs> Good thing for squishing all the way in. There's a one bubble there. All right, where's the glasses? Because I can't see to focus in. Hopefully I can get this out today. And if I do, this should be, um, for anybody watching, I should be on uh, Miss April's Live on Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern. Okay, so there's a big bubble there and a little bubble there and a little bubble there. Not too bad. Take glasses off. I'm trying to look at the camera though because I can't see where I'm at. Sorry. There we go. Weird, one color, but it actually looks like it has multiple colors on it. Only poured one color in there. That's cool. Or solid. Is this an orange yellow or just orange? Oh, nope, orange and pink. I'll be making up some more uh, glow in the dark skulls soon, also. All right, come on, just a little sideways. Well, 
least one big bubble on there. Yep, two, I think. Maybe three. One, two, and three. That one's pretty. Come on. Little blue cactus. Excuse me. Come on. Oh, big bubble there. Took a missed a whole piece on that. Into the bucket. That's not bad, just one, lost one little leaf, but I like getting the colors in there, some pink and then followed by some clear, and then backed in black. I thought I did good squishing, apparently not quite enough. Sorry, trying to be able to turn it. But yeah, poured pink, and then some clear, and then just barely lightly uh, topped it off with black. <clears throat> some of these were individually, some of these were sets. This one kind of reminds me of, uh, oh shoot, what was the name of the movie? That's going to drive me nuts now. Really one of my favorite movies from the 80s. Really, I can't think of it. Oh, this memory thing is driving me crazy. I'm sorry. I'm sure plenty of people will put it on my post, but I can't think of the name. <laughs> uh, and I can picture the characters' faces. I just can't think of the name. <sighs> I'm sure somebody out there is shouting it. <laughs> Of course, the color's all wrong, but reminds me of the baby plant in the coffee pot. Maxwell House pot, I think. Why can't I remember any other part? <laughs> So this one, I think, was done with some greens and yellows. And then, of course, some black at the bottom. Everything's glow-in-the-dark except for the black and the clear. Let's see how these suckers do. If I got the arms good. Hopefully we don't have any... Too, too many bubbles here. I squeezed uh, the mess out of them. I tried to pre-clean the molds off so I wouldn't have too much to clean up instead of clean. Ouch! Alright, let's not have any 
YouTube violations on here. <laughs> yeah, I waited too long. I was hoping they'd drift in more, but I waited too long and the top layer or the bottom layer had already set too much. I was hoping to have them mix in a little better. Hopefully my next my next set will get better. But yeah, hopefully we'll get the next one. I just didn't want to do it too soon because then they would have bl uh, blended together a little too much. But I think they're adorable. So six, I definitely need more than six ounces next time if I want to try that effect. Because this stuff sure was starting to thicken up on me. Of course, maybe. Six ounces is good, and then I'll mix up the next batch and then let it sit for about 30 minutes, and then I can <laughs> do the black layer. Definitely make sure I mix up more colors, though. I want some more blues, yellows, oranges. Hmm. Same one, just slightly bigger. Okay. Just ever so slightly bigger. Boop, boop. <laughs> yeah, I was just hoping that, like I said, I'd, I wouldn't have a straight line. I wanted it to drift in there, but... I don't have bubble. Oh no, I take it back. I got one bubble. One single bubble. Small one. And I don't think I checked the other dude that too well. I got lots of cleanup. Alrighty, let's see about cutting some of these lights down. See if things are charged up or if I need to get the black lights on them to charge them up some more. Or if anything glows or if I have to... Yeah, we got some minor glow. off. Can we catch everything in here? Some have uh, different glow colors and patterns. More intense spots and lighter spots on them. Glow for longer or shorter, different colors. Definitely will be mixing up more color next time because I'll be mixing up more resin. Probably at least a minimum of two scoops each, and the green with about four or so scoops was probably about perfect. I'll probably mix up a little more for this one. The yellow green. I like the mix of doing you know, like two different colors, yellow and orange, and having them, you know in their wet so they kind of sort of blend in and then just the tip of black but not solid but having it like on the, the mermaid that one mermaid one let me okay here we go <laughs> cheer not go out from underneath me be good so how's everyone been doing hopefully they're doing y'all 
tongue tied. My apologies. Hope you are all doing good. Just remember, y'all ever have any questions or anything, just, you know, send me a message. I do my best to try and check every day. I don't remember always to check every day, but I do my best to, to get on and check. And I'll look up to make sure I find the um, succulent molds um, where all my links for these are to get them added. Um, like I said, these these two were literally just picked up in store at Michael's. Um, I think this one was under the UV, and this one was in the food because it was a candy. They called it a candy mold, and I think this one was in the the UV resin side. I've... Oh, excuse me. Clutzy me. I was just trying to move everything over, but it's sticking to the silicone mat so well. <laughs> My granddaughter should like these. She likes, that's her new thing. She likes mermaids. And I'm going to hopefully be getting started on making a, a new tumbler. I got a tumbler wrap um, for her. That I got from Butterfly Lane uh, Designs, so I'll be um, doing. I, actually, I think four of when the next the two tumblers, two more tumblers come in. I've got two for her. I bought some toddler tumblers, 12 ounce toddler tumblers, um, and then with different tops that uh, will change out when as she grows, so she can have you know a ad more adult uh, top. So, I have some future Tumblr videos going to be coming up. <laughs> Hopefully, they'll be simple enough that I can do. Um, I think two are mermaid-ish styles. Um, and I can't even remember the other two she picked out. Um, yeah, I'm already drawing a blank. She was here uh, a couple of days ago. And we were on the, the site looking at the tumbler wraps and some decals and stuff like that. And, of course, um, picked out uh, colors she wants her uh, name to be done in. I can cut out on the cry cut for her. So we'll have uh, that in upcoming videos. Um, want to say thank you to all my subscribers. I'm at 775. I greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate you all. Um, anybody that's been there since the beginning and all my new subscribers, thank you all so very much. I really do appreciate you all. Um, thank you to my uh, member as well. Thank you very much. It is definitely greatly appreciated. And I hope everyone has a great weekend coming up. Um, let's see, this is, today's Friday, yeah, today is Friday, <laughs> sorry, I'll lose track of time, today's Friday, so, um, I, yep, I hope y'all have a wonderful weekend and a good next week, y'all take care, thank you, bye.